Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 4 Mods with me your host Crypto at Crypto Gamer. In this video today guys, we are going to be looking at the Lamprey Floaters mod. Um, the Lamprey Floater guys was originally a creature from the original Fallout 1 and 2 games. And it is basically a mutated flatworm. Now, the guy who made this uh, mod, I'm not sure who he is exactly. Um, you can find this mod on Xbox One and PC. Unfortunately, you won't be able to find this on PS4 simply because it uses external assets. Um, I really, really quite like this mod, guys. It is based off of the Bloatfly model. So that's the creature model that it's using to fly about. <coughs> Of course, Fallout 4 and I haven't figured out ways yet of adding in custom animations, so... Yeah, and as you can see, me and Ada take them down pretty quickly. Now, when these creatures die, they drop floater glands and floater meat. Um, which can be uh, utilised as scrap and as uh, basically a baked, baked floater that you can make from them. Which is also uh, some more baked floater fly. <clears throat> um, now you're going to find these creatures primarily in the glowing sea and um, that's where you're going to find these uh, floaters and they usually spawn in small groups and um, it can be larger groups of floaters than just standard and um, they may spawn across uh, along with um, boat flies or uh, just by themselves now they use a radiation based attack method, I thought it was pretty interesting, it brings the first creature as far as I'm aware into Fallout 4 that uses radiation based attacks um, that are similar to uh, using the uh, gamma gun. Um, of course we also have um, feral ghouls, especially glowing ones, that produce radiation but they produce fire. I also noticed that when you encounter these creatures, they also exude a noxious gas, which is highly flammable. So be careful if you're using uh, certain firearms such as laser weapons around them, because they may um, cause a burn. It may uh, cause the air to spontaneously combust like a gas explosion. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do just a little bit of hunting I think today guys and we're going to collect a lot of these different uh, parts for the floaters and you'll even get to see me pick them up. Uh, floaters will aggro on any creature, they're not a passive creature, they are fairly aggressive but they are good fun. You will find them in cave systems as well in the glowing sea. Um, I was actually using the cheap mod system so that I could put my level to like 185 or something like that, just so that I could take quite a few hits from these creatures throughout, without dropping dead. And also so that I could survive radiation a little bit better as well within the glowing sea. Now, I actually think these floaters would be good for a playthrough where you're trying to keep it immersive but also add in creatures from previous Fallout games. So I will also be doing a, a video guide on immersive creatures that you can add into Fallout War. And I'll be doing a few videos on different creatures such as the Famished, um, the Institute Centaurs, and even the night pen at one point as well, I will be doing a video on as well. I'll be doing separate videos for these creatures, and then I will also be doing a compilation video where you get to see all of these creatures in one video, so it'll be like a review, or a playstyle review. I really want to do playstyle reviews like I did with the Fallout 4 um, Zombie Walker mod. Uh, I will be doing more videos on that series as well, because I've added in Fallout 3 ghoul replacers which to me make the the walkers look more genuine rather than these sort of bloated looking uh, zombies 
and I will be doing a separate video as well, guys, on the Fallout 3 and New Vegas School the place for more. Simply because I find that um, rather interesting. Um, the glowing sea, it doesn't add anything else other than the creatures, which is a, a little bit frustrating, but it is just a very, very basic replacement mod, in effect. Um, they are leveled as well as far as we are, they will pop in a separate level, and they will attack in large act. In this clip here in particular, guys, I actually came across quite a lot of them. As you'll see shortly. If you're a low level character and going into the glowing sea with these creatures, they will do a lot of damage. They're gonna fire a lot of radiation at you that will take you down relatively quickly. Especially if they're in large packs. You do have to be cautious around these creatures. But usually you can pick them off quite easy with a sniper rifle at long range, and then you can just collect the goodies from them and cook that up. Um, definitely a creature to add in if you want a more immersive playthrough. Guys, if you really enjoyed my videos, remember you can always like, share and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm aiming for at least 5 likes on this video this month, it would be really, really grand. Um, and you can always follow me on Facebook at CryptoGamer. As well, if you want uh, updates on any new videos. And as you can see here, guys, this is where I've come across a fairly large pack of them. I decided for myself, it's minigun time. And we just took them down with a basic minigun. Which was all good and fun. So yeah, guys. If you enjoyed this video, like I say... Just give me a, a like, share, and a subscribe, and come and check out more of my videos. I will be doing more on Fallout 4, I do have a Creation Club series, and like I say, a, a playthrough series. So if you do enjoy Fallout 4 and mods, paid or not, come and check out the channel, guys. <clears throat> so as I say, guys, this has been Crypto Gamer. Have a good day, peace out. And see you next time.